Yeah, down in the Dodgers bullpen, Kershaw's it. So whenever Dave Roberts decides to make that move, he's your guy. Eaton with runners at first and second. Taylor goes back to the wall, and it's gone. And there she goes. We are tied. Just fans to take an active role in their communities. Make a plan to vote this election season. Visit MLB.com slash vote to 3-2. Off Jansen. Tracks it down. Throws late. Runs. Moreland swings and drives the ball to the gap in right center field. Towards right center field, and they'll get Tatis Jim. Two runs on three hits against Kenley Jansen here in the ninth inning. Eighth pitch has been the magic one tonight. This time he hits the ball to deep right field. Cody Bellinger has done it, and the Dodgers lead in game seven. Back into the bullpen they go. Julio Urias, who is the winning pitcher in game three on Wednesday, just one run over five innings and really. Oh, two plus. Big bouncer right side. Muncie charges. He's got it up six down for Julio Urias. The Braves being somewhat aggressive. They come from behind in game seven, and they win the National League pennant. Six of the 2020 Fall Classic is next. This might be the guy that closes out a World Series tonight. Well, and two things qualify right now. It is late, and they have the lead. <laughs> That's right. Now, Dave Roberts had ideas that he would use him if the Dodgers got him looking. Got him. Urias sets the race down. No longer is a threat of somebody running into one going to hurt you. And Margo sends a harmless fly ball out to right. Rays down to their final two outs. As we remind you, this copyrighted telecast trying to reach base to bring the tying run to the plate in the top of the ninth. Urias got him looking. 0 oh 2 to Adamas. have put their postseason demons to bed. They will hoist the commissioner's trophy for the first time since 1988. And yes. And Martin Maldonado rounding out the starting nine. That will face left-hander Blake Snell, the former Cy Young Award winner just a couple of seasons ago. And that has set him up well. Altuve takes off, swing and a miss. Throw to second. Easy pickings. Looking to turn two, though, on a ground ball. And there is a ground ball. That's going to be through for a base hit. Martin Maldonado, the catcher, coming up. Decision time here. Kevin Cash is going to make a change to the fireman right now. And Snell is furious. Go ahead, run it second. Castillo deals on the ground through for a base hit. Springer will drive at least one in. Now they're going to wind up Diaz, and he will score. A two run single for George Springer and the Astros. And just wanted to get the ball to Diego's hand. You know, that was a big moment. First and second, no outs. Blake's pitch count was manageable, uh, but, uh, and they got, they, they, got, they got the better of us. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I felt, I felt really good. I felt locked in. I felt like I had a good game plan against that lineup. Yeah, so I mean, it's just frustrating. Very, 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 very confident that I was going to get through that lineup. Him for his next start, and there will be another one. And then who knows if you get to a game seven maybe you need Blake Snell in relief. Maybe he comes back on short rest. Oh look at that pitch. Dominant tonight. That pitch just ate up Pollock who's a terrific hitter against left handed. Missed with the fastball. 
Well hit Margo back, and that one's gone. And there's ball for the bats already. And Seager's got a base hit. For Blake Snell. There's the call for Nick Anderson as Cash walks to the mound. Well, a terrific start by Blake Snell. He will exit with a three run lead. Lito had a longer run this postseason. Two balls and two strikes to Mookie Betts. And he got him. Got him, challenged him with the gas up around the eyes. Strike away from getting him in order to start the night, and he's done just that by striking out the side. The 3 2 to Taylor. A little excuse me, two hopper back to Snell, another 1 2 3 inning. Pandemic and the stoppage, he had a chance to rest and then build up slowly. And Barnes has LA's second base hit of the game. Anyway, this is the point of the night where they're watching him. He has not completed six innings this year. And this happened to him in the wild card game against the Blue Jays, and he hands it over reluctantly. Wow. He's been absolutely dominant tonight. And the guys he's about to face, Bet Seeger and Turner, he's struck out six times in. 2 0 pitches, a fair ball into the left field corner. On Saturday night, and got to him with a one out RBI single. That one's bounced, and the Dodgers have. Seeger bounces it to first. Muncie, come, rather, Choi comes home, but it's not in time. It's a full count to Muncie now, three and two. Tough call for Kevin Cash. And, he... and that'll do it. The Los Angeles Dodgers have put their postseason demons to bed. Personally, I felt Blake had done his job. He was outstanding. They're not easy decisions. Uh, didn't want Mookie seeing Mookie or Seager seeing Blake uh, a third time. No, I mean definitely disappointed, upset. Um, you know, I don't know. I just want the ball. I felt good. I felt. I don't really know what to say. You know, I just I, I want to win and I want to win the World Series and that's the goal. So for us to lose. When Cash gets Snell out of the game, what's your reaction in that dugout? And is there a lift? Yeah, I was shocked. Uh, we were kind of joking around. We were like, all right, way to get him out of there in the six like we planned. Um, no, had his stuff today. He was gross. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, gross. I would say that it uplifted us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think at that point, I was like, I got a chance. Um, <laughs> Snell was rolling. <laughs> Try and put it back together and uh, go from there.